Hello to everyone. Um, name is Greg McGee, better known as McGee. It was funny, you know, that this, it's finally here now. I first started back at uh, Totem Town in 1994, and uh, started when I was real, real young, and I knew I wanted to stay uh, at Totem Town. Been here all that time, but I knew I wanted to stay at Totem Town because we made an impact uh, with these youth's lives and other people's lives too, um, my co-workers, uh, people in the community. Everybody knew about Totem Town and the impact that we had. The staff that loved their job and was truly here for the kids and administration that backed us up. And uh, you know, we collaborated as a team, as a family. You know, So I looked at uh, this place has been a family to me all these years and uh, I'm gonna miss it. When I first learned that Boys Totem Town would be closing, I instantly thought about all of the at-risk youth that we have still living in our Eastside community that has challenges that needs to be addressed through services that Boys Totem Town once offered me. Hi, my name is Stanley Dukes. I am 32 and I was at Boys Totem Town in 2000. I'd like to tell all of you thank you for seeing the good in me. I thank you for teaching me my math and social studies. And I'd like to thank you for playing sports with me. Ping pong, teaching me how to play that. Mr. Nichols, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> Just overall thanks for sending me down the right path instead of letting me go down, continue down the wrong one. Hi, my name is Jafari Banks. I'm 39 years old, uh, born and raised in St. Paul, Minnesota. The last time that I was here in Boys Totem Town was 1995. Uh, one of the things that I've learned at Boys Totem Town is pretty much uh, communication skills, how to learn, how to uh, deal with uh, different nationalities, different people, uh, different attitudes. It taught me how to channel my anger and and put it to some more positive, but it definitely opened the door to get me to think more. There was a staff here that worked here named Jim Mitchell. He used to always just have us just crying, laughing. And M Mr. McGee too, they used to always have us just crying, laughing with jokes. Whenever we were down and out, they could make us smile. And that was big. Hi, my name is Cornelius Neil Walker. I'm 38 years old. I was in Totem Town back in 1994. The staff was pretty much the foundation of the whole place here. Most of the staff had a, had a, a caring aura about them. Uh, mainly the two that stuck out to me is Mr. McGee and Mr. Mitchell. They were the only two black role models that was here while I was here. Mr. McGee, Mr. Mitchell, they were like fathers, you know, because a lot of the kids here, we didn't have fathers growing up and, and they told us right from wrong and how to be a man, how to grow up and things like that. What sticks out the most about Totem Town is uh, what it made me as a juvenile. By being here, this uh, experience made me a better person. Right now, I'm currently the owner of my own landscaping company but I use the values that I learned here at Totem Town from way back then in everyday life. Uh, it showed me how to teach my son how to be a man. It was good times, it was bad times, but for the most part, they helped me. They changed my life. Hi, my name is Pa. I've been at Boys Totem Town for a little over two years. The most rewarding 
uh, part of this job is knowing that I am making a difference, having the residents tell me I'm making a difference. Thank you to all of our supervisors um, and managers, our management team, and what I've learned here is more than what I can imagine. Um, you guys taught me how to be professional, taught me how to find my voice, um, taught me how to find my strength and courage. You guys are the reasons why I am who I am today. Also to my coworkers, um, I've loved working with every single one of you. My name is Rashad McDonald. Uh, I've been working at Boys Totem Town for about two years. Um, my favorite memory at Boys Totem Town is my first family fun day that I worked as a staff. Um, just seeing like the kids' reaction and seeing them enjoy time, you know, and have fun with their family was just, you know, very warming and, you know, very delightful to see. Hello, uh, my name is Gerald Sutters. I've been working at Boys Totem Town for 15 years, and my favorite memory of Boys Totem Town is coming in every day, working with a young man to try to help them, support them, and I always look forward to just seeing the faces of the young boys and just being able to, to support them, take care of them, and do whatever they need to, because that's why we're here, and, and my job, I always, I felt, was to, uh, to be here for the kids and stuff, so I always look forward to that. I'm Maria Garza. I've been with Ramsey County Boys Totem Town for five years. I wasn't really sure what I was walking into um, as this was my first career in corrections and just gaining understanding and knowledge and empathy towards the residents that we have worked with throughout these years, advocating for them and creating goals and just seeing them grow throughout our program. and they're truly going to remember uh, Boys Totem Town. I still talk to a bunch of clients today and they're very sad that Totem Town um, is closing because everybody says the same thing. You guys helped. You guys made an impact in my life and I wanna thank you. Money cannot top when you hear a person say, you made an impact in my life and they just said thank you for that.